thank you for joining us. I'm Jimmy, this is my son Jesse, and this is The Real Dad Show. It's also an edition of Jesse's Corner. So what we're going to be doing today, we are going to be changing the accessory port slash cigarette lighter port in my truck to a full USB port. It sounds difficult, but it's really not. shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Before we get into that, we wanted to uh, remind you just to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out on the YouTube um, algorithm, and it also puts us higher on the uh, search list when you search for keywords or for these types of videos. Okay, before we get any further, I wanted to uh, let you know that I am promoting my brother Richard Lopez's boxing club. It's Double Punches Boxing Club in Santa Rosa, California. And every day, they are going to be posting three-minute videos that you can do at home while you're on self-quarantine, or what's the word? Self-isolation. Watch his videos. I'll be putting links to where you can find them on Facebook and YouTube below. So, without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing and the installation. Okay. This is what we got. Here's the USB charger. Through the end of connectors. And the blade connectors, and then you would just tighten it with this. So once it's flush, and here we've got a glass fuse and two female connectors. And positive and negative wires with an inline fuse. That's probably where the glass fuse goes into. And then set of female plugs. Those are just going to go into here. Okay, here we are in the truck. So the only tools we're really going to need are some wire cutters, a pair of crimpers, and a couple of butt end connectors. So, are you ready? Yeah. Let's get to work. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take out the charger. There, you see that's exactly what the problem is right there. Go ahead and just pull it out. Now, a few days ago I went to the junkyard to buy some parts for my wife's car, and every single Chevy truck in this year well, actually between 2002 and 2006 all had their lighters pretty much the same way and so basically all we're gonna do is just unplug this so I'm gonna attach the red wire and the black wire first we before we do this we're going to unplug the battery okay in order to disconnect the battery, I'm going to be using an 8mm socket to disconnect the ground wire from the battery. Oh, okay, I'm going to just move it out of the way. I'm going to move it to like right there so it doesn't touch the battery. All right, now that that's done, it's safe to go ahead and work on the electrical system. Okay, now you see that it's flush. Caps on right. Now, get that. Nah, you just screw it on right there. It should fit. Probably wouldn't even need it. Okay, now. Okay, now that we've clipped those wires, we're not going to use this. We just, we just don't need it. That should be good. Okay, we'll do the other, the other side the same. Okay, so the black one, we're going to connect right there. Push hard. Okay, 
one and the red one. Good job. And that's it. Now, before we stick it in there, we are going to connect the battery again and uh, see if we got any power in it. Okay? Right. Now we're just going to reconnect the battery. Let's see if we have power. Stereo's on. Okay. Now, you see that it's lighting up blue. Plug it in. Alright, should be good. And there it is, charging. That was pretty easy? Yeah. All right. Now all we have to do is just put everything back the way we found it. Put that in. Everything's tight, back together. Let's clean up our mess, and we're done. Okay, so that wasn't so hard. Not at all, really easy. What did you learn? I learned to use wire cutters, stay safe, and make sure I have a partner around, turn on, disconnect the ground wire from the battery, and, oh yeah, turn off the car just in case. Okay, sounds good. Well, once again, we wanna thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Click the notification bell to get the next videos that are coming up. Yep. Uh, and how often are we going to be posting videos now? I think around Monday and Saturdays. Yes, that's what we're shooting for. We're getting really good positive reviews, like we said before, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does help us out, and we appreciate all of your guys' support. Thank you for joining us. Hope this video helped, and uh, we'll see you next time. Remember, anybody can be a father. But it takes a special person to be a dad. Thank you, and God bless.